create a photorealistic composite image using Blender and Photoshop. Download FSpy, the FSpy plugin for Blender, and the Blender Kit plugin. Open the FSpy app and import a photo. Align the X and Y axis to your photo. Use the floor grid to help with perspective, and use the shift key to zoom into any point. Export the FSpy file. Install the FSpy plugin and Blender Kit and make sure that they are active. Import your FSpy project. Add a plane and line it up with the ground. If your scene has walls, extrude the plane in wireframe mode to roughly fit the shape. Now, create a new material and use your image as the image texture. UV unwrap and choose Project from View. Subdivide the shape to get a better outcome. Connect the base color to emission. Separate the ground plane and give the material some roughness. Now, add your image as a plane and line it up with the frame. Use the knife tool to roughly cut out the subject. Open the Blender Kit panel and search for free models. Find one that you like and import it. Use the cutout to scale your model correctly. Place your model where you want it. Add a new light and use the scene to roughly position it. Use the eyedropper tool to match the light color. Use shadows and reflections as clues to other possible light sources. I used this model's hair and the shadows by her feet to add some fill lighting. When you're ready to render, make sure that you're in cycles and that you have transparent background checked. Select your background walls and the subject and uncheck camera visibility. Select the ground plane and set it to shadow catcher. Fine tune, render, and save it out as a PNG. Now, open your image in Photoshop and paste your PNG onto a new layer. Hide it and duplicate the original image. Go to Select Subject and then Select and Mask to clean it up. Create a clipping mask from your selection and unhide your 3D object. Select the 3D object and create a layer mask from transparency. Select and edit the mask and feather the edges and shift it in slightly. Under filters, select neutral filters to get AI filters. Use the harmonize filter to match the color tone of the background image. Add a noise filter and match the noise strength of the original image. Add a very slight blur. And now you have a much more impactful image.